Hi, this is Rachel. And I'm Alex. And you're watching Cancellation Buzz. <laughs> Lots of news since our last update, both good and bad. So we'll start with the bad. Alex, tell us what has been canceled, both officially and unofficially. First up, in official cancellations, we have FX's Lights Out. It just hasn't raked in the viewers since its January debut at only 1.5 million, so unfortunately FX won't be renewing it for a second season. Also officially canceled is NBC's The Cape, which didn't even air its final episode on TV and instead made it available on NBC.com. Ouch. In terms of unofficial cancellations, first up, much to the dismay of reality fans everywhere, is The Real Housewives of DC. Bravo hasn't made an official decision regarding a season two, but rumor has it that the network has plans to focus on building out their more successful Real Housewives, such as Orange County, New Jersey, New York, Beverly Hills, and Atlanta. Things also aren't looking good for No Ordinary Family. Ratings are crappy, plus Julie Benz and Michael Chiklis have both signed on for other pilots, so as of now, all signs are pointing to canceled. As for NBC's Perfect Couples, the network recently announced that they're pulling the show from their schedule early and replacing it with Paul Reiser's new sitcom. Not a good sign. So Rachel, what shows are teetering on the edge of cancellation? Well, Alex, on the edge, we got MTV's version of the popular UK series Skins. Though this show has been all over the news, offending just about everyone, it really didn't perform too well in the ratings for its first season of 10 episodes. Though the finale was one of the higher rated episodes, 1.2 million viewers was only enough for a We Still Haven't Decided from MTV. Also on the edge is ABC's medical safari series Off the Map from Shonda Rhimes. Though the show from the Grey's Anatomy creator, the series has been unable to draw in those Grey's level numbers. TV by the Numbers is convinced the series will not make it past its first season. Now, for a show that just six months ago you'd never expect to hear any cancellation buzz surrounding it, we've got to mention Two and a Half Men. Production on this series has, of course, ended for the season due to all of Charlie Sheen's personal issues, and with Sheen officially off the show now, it's still unclear how the show will proceed next fall, if at all. However, we're listing this one only as gaining traction, since it's such a moneymaker for CBS, and the recast seems a lot more likely than a cancellation, though no, it's not going to be John Stamos or Rob Lowe. Now for some good news. Some of our favorite shows have already been renewed. First up, NBC comedies Parks and Rec, Community, and The Office have already been given the green light for additional seasons. Also returning, for all of you reality addicts, is The Amazing Race and Undercover Boss, both on CBS. Additionally, Southland, despite bouncing from NBC to TNT, is doing better on its new network and has been officially picked up for a 10-episode fourth season. What else has been renewed, Rachel? A bunch of shows, Alex. In a pleasant surprise, Fox recently renewed the critically acclaimed but low-rated Fringe for another season. Then we've also got a bunch of cable renewals. There will be two additional seasons of Futurama coming your way on Comedy Central, Being Human is coming back for a second season of Sci-Fi, and though Lights Out will not be returning to FX, that network did just announce renewals of two of its other series, Archer and Justified. That's it for this episode of Cancellation Buzz. Check back on Sadreel's Cancellation Buzz page as well as on Facebook and Twitter for all the latest cancellation updates.